we're gonna talk about Islands of Adventure and their kids area Seuss Landing today. This is the perfect spot for my daughter, Anna, who is four years old and really enjoyed this because they had all sorts of rides that were perfect for her age. So we're gonna go through all of the rides that they have there and other fun activities that they have as well. Um, so if you wanna go with your kids, you know exactly what to do. So first on our list is the ride One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. Um, so I remember this back when I was a kid. I, yeah. I think it was my favorite. <laughs> um, it is kind of like the similar to like the Dumbo type rides where you go around um, and you're in like a little car thing and um, you go up and down, which is really fun. That's like the funnest aspect of it. Yeah. Um, what's cool about this ride too is they have water spraying out at you. So um, you may get wet. It's nothing like you'll be drenched the whole day or There's anything like that. That. There is. <laughs> there's a trick to this. So um, if you listen, there's a song playing and it tells you, depending on what color car you have, it tells you whether to go up or down um, or stay kind of in the middle. So if you listen carefully to the song, you can avoid getting wet. If you don't listen very well, <laughs> you'll likely get wet. So it is a little bit challenging, but it's a lot of fun. Um, and we were able to go on it, three of us, two adults and our daughter, um, we're able to go on it together. So it worked really well um, to go as a small family um, or two adults can go in one car as well. So they have um, different options for that, which is perfect. But we really enjoyed it. I love this one. I know she's previously been offended by getting sprayed with water, <laughs> but well, on this, in this case, she didn't mind it. And we were the ones, the adults getting wet more so than she was. So it was fine. Also, depending on the time of year you go, um, yes. If it's going to be cold that day, Universal takes that into consideration and sometimes they'll either turn the water off or like down so that you're not soaked. Yeah, so that's... we went there for two days. The first day the water was off because it was a little bit chilly that day, but then the second day we went, it was turned on. So we were able to experience that the second day, which is nice. But yeah, so that ride is a lot of fun. Definitely would recommend for all ages. Um, so be sure to check that one out. Okay, what are we doing next? 
The carousel. All right, let's do it. Oh, oops. There's stroller parking once you get kind of in the line, just so you know. We did not know that. We do now. This looks pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. So one of the other really fun things to do in Seuss Landing is the carousel. So this is a carousel um, with lots of kind of funky uh, animals, I guess I would say. Char yes. They're Seuss characters, we'll call them. Yes, so you know, there's like an elephant with wings and you know, just some, some funky things like that. They're really cute though. And um, we as adults really enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love thought it was fun. <laughs> but um, Anna in general is kind of afraid of carousels. So um, she, I think it's a height thing. She doesn't like heights. And so she feels uncomfortable not being strapped in fully. Yeah. So she prefers to ride on what she calls the chariot um, or just like a little chair area. So <laughs> she was able to do that and, and loved it as well um, while doing that. We did convince her to do it on a pink flying elephant. She was okay with that. Wasn't in love, but yeah, she would do it again, I think, but she was just nervous about it for sure. One of the things that's really cool about the carousel and actually goes along with all the theming in Seuss Landing is that there are no straight lines. And so even you see this carried through into the carousel where normally how the um, the horse would be mounted and there's a pole that's like gold and sparkly. This has everything is just completely like wiggly wavy. and wavy. And so it just makes it seem a little bit more fun. Yes, there's just like an element to Seuss Landing that is indescribable to you in there and you're just like wow this is immersive very yeah, very cool. yeah. Super fun? Yeah. Oh, bad. What was bad about it? The puppy tiger. The what? The puppy tiger. The puppy tiger? Yeah. You didn't like the puppy tiger? Yeah. Did you like the elephant? What well, What does the elephant do? Uh, His trunk moves. Wasn't that awesome? No. I like the carriage. You like the carriage? You want to do that next time? You want to do the one fish, two fish again? Well, Lorax thing walks through. There's his house. You can listen. I don't know what we're listening to. She wants to do it. Listen with your ears. So yeah, they have this little area um, for the Lorax story, which is really cute. Um, you can walk through, it's kind of like a little park and um, it tells the story about the trees and everything. And if you've seen the movie, it, it, it's really cute. So definitely check that out. Are those the truffle trees? Yes. Cool, those are cool. Yes, so um, it looks really cute in there. It's a, it's a great spot to take pictures um, too. So definitely want to stroll through there if you have a little bit of downtime. Throughout the whole um, area, there's of course different stores. There's um, like ice cream shops. There's um, candy store. Um, you know, different places to get refreshments. And then there's um, there's a restaurant, Circus McCurkis. Yes, which was actually closed when we were there, so we were bummed we couldn't go in that. But um, it was um, really cool looking from the outside. And um, yeah, so we were able to kind of stroll through and just take in all of the Seuss Landing funness. I don't know if funness is a word, but it is. It is now. <laughs> when you're talking about Seuss Landing, it is. Yes. So you do, it's like you do tend to walk through there and the words don't necessarily make sense. So right. it's like, you know, by the end, you're just making up your own. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> 
so yeah, it was a really cool area. Um, and then they also have um, connected to one of the stores is story time area, which was really neat. They had um, a Lorex character there, so you can get your picture taken, and um, they told the story. Um, they also had thing one and thing two there a little bit later, so um, and I got to see them as well, get your picture taken with them too. Um, it was really cute, and if you come back at different times, they had all the stories happening. So um, that was really fun for all the kids. They clearly loved it. So um, definitely would recommend keeping an eye out for those story times. The Lorax eyes speak for the trees. And Nancy, I told him, shut up if you please. I meant no harm. I most truly did not. But I had to grow bigger, so bigger I got. I figured my factories, I figured my roads, I figured the wagons, I figured the loads of the beans I'd shipped out. I was shipping them forth to the south, to the east, to the west, to the north. And for your information, you Lorax, I'm figuring, all figuring, and figuring, and figuring, and figuring, turning more terrestrial and trees into speeds. Teach a barbell to sign. We also got to meet the Cat in the Hat and Sam from Green Eggs and Ham. And there are a few other storybook characters as well. Um, Anna absolutely loved that. She got to interact with them a little bit and strike a pose with them and, you know, say hello. She thought that was the coolest thing ever. Um, and then after meeting the Cat in the Hat, she got to go on the Cat in the Hat ride. And so she was excited because she was like, I met him. And, you know, <laughs> it was like the greatest thing in the world for a little girl. So she thought that was fantastic and really enjoyed being able to meet the characters and see them on the rides. No. You get to meet Cat in the Hat? Was he so cool? He's gonna be in here? Yep, he'll be in this ride too. Alright, so we are get in line for Cat in the Hat. There's only a five minute wait, so we're probably just gonna run right through this and get right on. It's gonna be pretty fun. Oh yep, we're already up there. That was quick. Okay, where are we, Anna? Cat in the hat. Cat in the hat. Are you excited for this one? Yeah. Do you think you're gonna like it? Yeah. 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 What do you think you're gonna see? Yeah. The cat in the hat. I think I'm gonna see some bright colors and some fun things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This looks so fun. By far, our favorite ride in Seuss Landing was the Cat in the Hat ride. Yes. I mean, I don't. I can't even count how many times we did it. Like <laughs> seven, eight. I don't know. Yes. Like never-ending amount of Cat in the Hat ride. Um, it was really, really cute. It was nothing like you know super exciting fancy but like it just was fun um it's kind of like comparable i would say to the winnie the pooh ride um Very at magic kingdom of like a dark ride yes but not so dark yeah it's not really dark inside but yeah they have um just a lot of little cute like things popping up here and there and on the ceiling and everywhere you look so it was just really fun and um a relaxing ride and nothing scary in it at all i don't yeah no like it, it was just a nice, easy ride and perfect for um, my daughter, Anna. So we really, really enjoyed the Cat in the Hat ride and, like I said, went on it a gazillion times. <laughs>
I think <laughs> as an adult without a little kid, like I enjoyed it. I, I love the Disney dark rides, so this gave you like a little taste of that. But without the long waits, I mean, we probably had like a five to ten minute wait every time. I think there was on one it. time we maybe waited fifteen minutes, which which totally worth a fifteen minute wait, anyway. Yes. So. Yes. And I feel like that is one thing that I really enjoy about the Universal yep. Parks is that the kids rides, especially yes. at Islands of Adventure, seem to not have nearly as long of a wait as, say, you know, a ride at Disney. Yeah. The, you know, when you go to Magic Kingdom. A ride like this would have probably like an hour long wait, I would say. So to be able to just walk right on like that was just amazing and yeah, you know, definitely a win over Disney in that aspect. Especially because Anna is at that age where she, she just wants to ride, 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 yeah, ride. She doesn't understand the way. And <laughs> she was able to enjoy the theming of Sue's Landing with like meeting meeting the cat in the hat and then going on his ride and then going on the carousel and then Hey, you want to go on the ride again? Oh, there's Cat in the Hat again. So it was kind of yeah. important for that age group to be able to feel that immersive feeling that maybe we might get in another land, like Jurassic Park mm -hmm. or something yeah. like that. So for her, this was almost better than Disney because she got that full experience. And, and she talks about it all the time. Yeah, and it's a smaller area too, so it's yeah. not like overwhelming in the sense that you know, like, you're like, okay, I gotta run over here and I gotta run over there. And, you know, it's not, like, spread out all around the park, which is nice. It's in one area, nice and condensed. There's, what, four or five rides? Which is Cat in the Hat, Carousel, the Trolley. Fish, Two Fish Trolley. So, yeah, there's four rides in that area. Totally obtainable. And then if they loved one, you can go back and do it again. So, it was, yeah, that was fantastic, I would say. I, I really like that. And the, as an adult, it's a cool, whimsical area. So <laughs> it was a very neat experience. Well, and it's, it's something that, too, like a lot of people grow up with the Dr. Seuss books. Yeah. So um, it's something that they're familiar with. And, you know, it's exciting to see characters that you know and have loved from your childhood. So, yeah, it's cool. Great. Okay, we are getting in line for Cat in the Hat. This is our third time riding this ride. I think it's safe to say that Anna really, really likes this one. So Cat in the Hat is winning for sure today. Hey Anna, what are we doing? Cat in the Hat. Do you love this one? Yeah. Is it Why? so much fun? Yeah. Look at how many books he's got. He's got three books. Oh, that's cute. His name is Think too. Those are cool. Let's see, they're $17, sixteen ninety-five. That's Cat in the Hat, he's cute, isn't he? Isn't he cute? Um. It's a cat. Neither. <laughs> hey, he is kinda. There he is. Okay, wait. We're gonna have to put some of those back, kiddo. Kyle, a little help here. <laughs> what are we doing here? We're putting them back. Okay. And we'll come and get them again later. We're gonna come back later. Sit down there. Good okay. job. All right, say bye, toys. We'll see you later. One of the other favorite rides in Seuss Landing is is the High in the Sky Seuss Trolley Train Ride. It's a mouthful. Yes, it is. I let you do that. <laughs> I had to, had to <laughs> practice that one in my head a couple times. Um, but yeah, so that was really cool. It has two different routes, so um, if you are able to go on both, I definitely recommend it. Um, we unfortunately could only go on one because the other was closed, and I think it's because that. Um, Circus McGurkis is closed and it usually goes through that area. So I think because of that area being closed, they kind of just, you know, didn't take you that way, which I understand, but was a little bummer that we couldn't, you know, do both routes. So um, it's really cool though. You get really nice views of the whole park um, and of like the water area and, um, you know, Seuss landing from up above. It was really cute. And, you know, what kid doesn't love like trolleys and trains and everything. So it was really, really fun. Um, they had some cute little music and a little story and 
Um, I definitely would recommend it. I will say it is pretty up high and like, yeah, we were strapped in pretty good, but like it made me like a little nervous. Like <laughs> you do have a fear of heights. So. I, yeah, I am a little afraid of heights myself. So it was a little like sketchy to me in some areas. So if you're afraid of heights, like proceed with caution. <laughs> Just know ahead of time. Just know, yes, too. yes. But um, it was really cute. Even the line queue had a lot of like really cool things happening in it. Um, you know, things to keep you entertained. They had like little stories on the wall and stuff like that. So um, it was it was a lot of fun. I think that was the longest wait we had um, for any ride in Seuss Landing, and it was like 35 minutes. And I think if both had been going at the same time, both routes were going, then it probably would have been definitely cut in half. But um, even with the 35 minute wait, I would say it was worth it, um, especially when you're not waiting very long for all the other rides. You know, exactly. you, can, you can wait in one for 35 minutes. So, with the, the way that Universal does their queue, it helps with little kids because they think at least they're paying. So you're not yes. just sitting there trying to figure out how my weight in this line is worth it. Yeah. I'm gonna jump over the yellow lava. Good job. There's blue lava and yellow. Can you jump over both? Good job. All right. They had, of course, they had green eggs and ham, which I did not partake in because I do not like eggs. So that was like furthest from something I would even attempt to do. But they did have something really cool on the menu, which are specialty tater tots. And I feel like this is a great snack and it could even be a lunch. It's a pretty large portion. Um, we had what were called pizza tots, which I know is a favorite of many pass holders. And it is basically like tater tots with all of the pizza toppings on the top of it. It was great. I highly recommend them because it was filling, it was a good price, um, and it also was shareable. So it was something that you could get, you could split with your kids. And um, if you didn't like the pizza flavor, we also had a, had a buffalo chicken version of the tater tots. Very good. So the flavors were good, it was a good size, and the theming of being able to say you went to green eggs and ham, even if you don't like green eggs or ham, was actually <laughs> pretty cool. So we really enjoyed Seuss Landing as a whole. Yes. Um, I think it was perfect for my daughter. Like, were you going to say something? I was going to ask you a couple questions. Yes. Okay, she's got some questions for me. Do, how long would you say you would dedicate to Seuss Landing if you had a child in that age? In the under 10 age group, would you dedicate a good portion of your day there? I would. Um, I would say like maybe half of our day. Um, and even if that was like, you know, we go in the morning, do a couple of rides, go to the other part of the parks and then come back and do a little bit more later, um, split it up. But just because there are only a couple of rides, you're going to want to probably do them multiple times. And there's not a ton of rides that are, you know, available for kids under 40 inches. So that's really where they're all centrally located. Um, there are a couple other areas that have kids rides we'll talk about in another video, but um, 
I think if your child, especially if they're under 40 inches, you're gonna wanna stay in Seuss Landing for a bit, but otherwise they're gonna get quite bored in some of the other areas. So um, definitely feel like yeah. you're gonna dedicate a good amount of your time. And there's a lot to do in that area. Between food and shopping and shows and rides, you'll, you'll be entertained for sure. Okay, my next question. Okay. Do you feel that the addition of Seuss Landing to Islands of Adventure makes it worth it for you to go to Islands of Adventure with a child in that age group? Yes. Um, I feel like that's kind of what saved it from being, you know, a not fun park for my daughter to being a fun park for her. Um, like I said, there were a couple other rides in some of the other areas she was able to do, but if Seuss Landing wasn't there, she really would have been bored a majority of the day, I would say. I have a question for you. For me? Yes. Yeah. So as an adult yes. going through Seuss Landing, mm -hmm. what, like, did you feel like you were entertained by, like, that you could do and, like, you know, not be bored? So <laughs> if I was going to Islands of Adventure and Seuss Landing was not my primary reason for being there, I think that you should definitely ride the cat and hat ride. Um, the idea, I like the idea of it being a dark ride. I also loved the air conditioning. It had a little bit of a short, it didn't have a weight and it's really cute and it's actually quite fun even for adults. Um, even my husband was pretty entertained and he said we could ride it again, so that was cool. Um, also, I think that if you have the chance to ride the carousel, I, it, it is just a basic carousel, but there's something kind of whimsical about it that makes it super fun and memorable. Um, I don't know if all adults would agree with me, but I feel like sometimes you just want that feeling of being a kid again. That definitely gave you that. what you think your favorite attraction would be in Seuss Landing if you were to visit there. So let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!